Welcome everybody to the Mind, Body and Soul television show. I'm your host, uh, Coach Steve Toth, and the founder of Conscious Evolution Media. We're coming to you live from Denver, Colorado, our Internet TV studio. And our guest this afternoon, our second guest actually, is Stefana Johnson. She is a trauma and abuse specialist, and she's joining us from Vancouver, Washington. Welcome to the show and to the network, uh, Stefana. Thank you very much. So um, I'm, I'm going to start the show as like always I start every show, which is if I take away all the titles that you have ever been called, that includes a trauma and abuse specialist and a friend, a colleague, and many other things, if I take all those away, who is really Stefana Johnson? Me. I am. <laughs> and in any moment, I am the expression of ideally my sovereign, divinely led voice. And then you start adding the labels. <laughs> Joyful, <laughs> fun, uh -huh. and then I get to create. Because those labels that can define one in a negative way can also define one in a positive way and can be very fun and help one create a life that, that they choose. But I like your question. Great. Thanks. And I like your answer. So, so what did it take for, for you, Stefana, to make this being a trauma and abuse specialist to be your passion? What did that take? Mostly dying, nearly dying, mm -hmm. literally, physically, to realize how much our past left unhealed can actually destroy our lives and destroy our future and destroy our now. And I had no idea that by keeping my wounds and my trauma and the abuse of my past hidden and, and not necessarily hidden but avoided you know you put it away you're supposed to get over it you're supposed to move on stuff happens get over it that's what everybody says but that's not what happens <laughs> and it yeah. took it took the destruction of my body because my body and my health were so adversely impacted and I had no idea that that's what it was you know the medical doctors were saying it was they, well they couldn't figure out what it was no one could figure it out no matter how many tests we did no matter how many Z packs or things they threw at it it wouldn't solve mm. and yeah, that's how I, I figured I, it out yeah I don't think the medical community really understands even if they do understand they um, they acting like that that it doesn't exist so they kind of put it on, under the carpet I don't think they understand that um, if if we as human beings are not able to manage our lives, manage our emotions, and manage um, our ego, and manage what needs to happen moment to moment, um, if we mismanage, uh, that's going to end up in all kinds of illnesses. Is that is that accurate? That's really what you're saying, right? Oh yes. And not just illnesses of the body, illnesses of the mind, of, of the, the mind heart. And, and the soul. Yes, absolutely. And yes. the way I work is in a holistic modality. So I do work with the mind and the body and the spirit. I call it the heart because that's the, that is the mind of the emotions. And when you have experienced trauma, especially trauma specifically from another person, whether it's sexual trauma or abuse, the heart fellow human beings and our and the world around us through this emotional connection as well as the physical but this emotional part the um, the heart part is often cut off I, I call it also the gut okay that's also the body part but most most of the time when we're talking about the body you're going to instantly think medical field takes care of that but I'm also integrating the heart, the emotions, and all of our body, just like, well, the analogy would be in, in Chinese medicine or acupuncture, you have, if you take the bottom of your foot, it's the map of the body. Or if you take your hand and your fingerprints, it's the map of your life. So 
we can't separate out the body and the mind and the heart and try and go fix it over here. We have to look at all of them as a whole and that's really where I think I've made such huge strides finally because I was just focusing on oh well this is a physical we need to work on the physical part and then we need to work on the mental part and we need to work on the spiritual separately and then as soon as I realized that they must work together and they expand together mm -hmm. the the results were so much faster the results were so much bigger and and it made my life and my job so much easier so I'm sure I'm talking to uh, the choir here. <laughs> I'm pre telling you something you already know, but oh, it's all right. Uh, you know, the reason why we're doing these shows is, is you know, I find myself repeating myself all the time. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, we're gonna have lots of viewers that uh, only heard this for the first time. Yes, and and I de I work with people every single day who have no clue that that something from their past actually is affecting them. I'm going to give you a per, a, an example of a gentleman who came to my office door and said, um, because I have I put out a lot of uh, shows that are free and on public access and he said, I saw you mention that sexual trauma can result in someone holding on to physical weight. And he stood there at my door and said, I was raped when I was 18 in the army and that was over 35 years ago and I've never told anyone and now I have all this weight and my doc I'm on six medications and my doctor says if I don't lose this weight I'm going to die and he said when I saw your show it was the first time that I had connected my past trauma so many years ago with what I'd been carrying around for all this time because Coincidentally, not so much coincidentally, but he figured all, it out, all of it out that right after that he started gaining weight and so his whole life from there was affected because of that trauma and he hadn't told anyone. And for me, that on one side it's very painful to hear that because it makes me sad that someone has to suffer for that long and had suffered for that long. And then on the other side, I get excited because we can know that there's room for a breakthrough. We're ready for a change. He's recognized some he's first step in awareness. And that's the first step that I take any of my clients through. Awareness. Mm -hmm. We have to be aware. We have to recognize that there is a correlation between that energy of our past, even though it was long, long, long ago, there's there's a correlation. So so don't you feel, Stefana, that uh, everybody is exactly where they're supposed to be in every moment? So so in essence, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong ever. The world is completely congruent. Uh, where everybody's supposed to be at every moment, even that it looks completely chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's not a yes or no question. That's not. I can't answer that with a yes. <laughs> I will tell you, I, I do, I do say that to my clients. I do say that to my sh to to people uh, to my shows. I say you're perfect exactly as you are right now, because I want them to start from that place and know that that yes, if we take away all of the stuff, we are essentially perfect. We are perfection. We are at our very core. Perfection, no question. But even if we don't take it away, we're still perfect because even our <laughs> even our non-perfections are perfect because that that's how brilliant we are. We we, we can have we can we can have we can have a, a, a an abusive uh, partner or whatever, and we can do all that per perfectly. Well, I I'm gonna say yes. From that, from that <laughs> reality, yes. No, no, I'm not saying denial. that we should be doing that, but there's also but denial. At, <laughs> but at the moment, at the moment, if that's what somebody's doing, that's what they're supposed to be doing. Because if it wasn't, they would be doing something else, right? I don't believe there's now. I'm supposed to, because that's basically saying, well, 
because some of us just don't know. I mean, truly, some of us just don't know. And here's the thing: I'm a mom to two year old, to a five year old, and an eight year old, and I have two yeah, boys. I saw, that I saw are your kids. They're beautiful kids, by the way. Thank you. I adore them. Mm -hmm. And they teach me every single day, and they teach me that we are not perfect, <laughs> 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 and we have a lot to learn. And I say we, meaning me as a parent. My mm -hmm. child was born perfect. My beautiful boy, no matter, forget the, what the body issues has you know, going on, whatever. But essence, I saw a perfectly clean slate. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the imprinting go on for the last, well, eight years for one and five years for the other. Yeah, but you were the same way. Yes. And so was I. Yes, and so that would preclude that are we perfect right where we are? <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> Because clearly we're here for a reason. Otherwise, well, if we were perfect, you know, it's all just a game and there's no, you know, there, there's, we could start talking about rewards and punishments and I, I don't go for that kind of stuff where there's this all-powerful, all uh, ben, this, you know, rewards and punishment thing going on with the God and all of that. No, and, no, no. I, and I, then I, there's, I don't subscribe to that stuff because yeah. that, that would be religion. And, You're right. Uh, and that really doesn't work for me. But uh, but but here is the thing. Um, don't you think it's kind of interesting that um, that there are seven billion people on this planet, and and they all running around doing something, trying to figure something out. And what is it that we're trying to figure out? Well, I can't I can't say that uh, from another person's perspective. I can only say it from my own. I I did the same thing as what everybody else is doing. You know, I was born clean slate, like you said, beautiful baby, and then the download came, and I got lots of information and lots of knowledge. <laughs> then I didn't know what the hell to do with all that, <laughs> and I stumbled around as a teenager doing all kinds of weird stuff, and and then I did what I was programmed to do, which is get married, find a beautiful wife, have kids, a beautiful home, picket fence, beautiful cars and live happily ever after. But that program doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be reset. <laughs> you you have a nice program actually. I mean that that could be a nice program. See I deal with not too many who got that white picket fence going on. I mean I because of I'm also in the the realm of dealing specifically with the sexual abuse and and kind of the degraded things that go on where people are abusing one another and there's domestic violence and there's I mean there's they they're messed up quite frankly. Even though they're you know highly functional people with million dollar jobs and doing amazing things but well, but I was messed up too. I mean, do you know anybody that that has not been messed up? Uh, okay, so you're right. <laughs> I need to say messed up. That's that's me blanketing this statement. The bottom line is, if we can look at what it is that we really want to do from a sovereign place, I'm all about getting off of automatic pilot yes. and piloting your yes. own life and piloting, yes. piloting, piloting your way out of depression and anxiety and a, a, an abusive relationship from a conscious place, not numbing out, not taking a drug, not shopping your way out of it, not yes. screwing your way out of it, not any of those things. It's from a conscious, div I want to say divinely led, but I'm not talking religion. I'm talking from that, high, from that perfection, from that core of you that knows at your essence who you are. And, and you're connected with that so that when you go and get something that someone's trying to download on you, you can say, stop, delete, no <laughs> thank you, I, I, no thanks very much. That's not what I need or want. It doesn't, so that you're aware. So that's the key piece of that. I call that, I call that absolute 100% clarity. Yeah, and so as you have that clarity and you have this space, you can come from that sovereign, and I say basically you are the master of your world and your universe, and the effects you create can come from that space that is your, that is your essence of your perfection. And I think then as, as I work with my clients, I give them skills so that they understand that their thoughts and their actions and their beliefs 
create an effect not only in their own world but out in, in it's like the butterfly effect you know that ripple the pond pebble and that whole thing well this yeah. is th these are key points but we don't we, we don't we're not born with that we're not born with the skills to figure this out in this dimension that we live in uh, you 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 start to learn it basically from other people and frankly a, some of the parents no matter how great they are have some baggage including me and I see but, this but, in my five and eight year old don't you think, don't you think Stefana that, 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 that that's a design fault there, there is a fault in the way we are designed, <laughs> 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 and I. <laughs> well, then, then you'd have to say if there's a fault in how we're designed, then someone designed us, and that there was a fault in the designer because if the there's a fault in the design, then the designer's faulty. Does that make sense? So. Well, yeah, I, I, I think, I think, part of, part of, you know, I don't know this for sure. I just, again, from my personal experience. I, I feel that um, because we have choice, we have free choice, and and until see we all get this this thing that you talked about, which is we are born clean slate, and then the operating system gets installed installed into everybody in different versions. There's different versions of operating systems that are running on the planet seven billion times, and what I mean by operating systems, I mean I mean, all the data that gets programmed into us by our parents uh, and what's done to us that includes abuse and all the things you talked about. And then as we become more sophisticated with this program, we install our own module, own, own modules. Like I got uh, really interested in sex and gambling, and those are modules that we install. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I got fascinated with those two things, and I go, oh, okay, so I'm going to explore this because I need to be distracted from from who I really am. I'm not. I'm afraid to look at who I really am. So I'm going to get these distraction modules called sex and gambling, and they were great for a while until they almost took my life. And you talked about this yes. that, at the beginning, where. But but I want you to. You, I know that you see this. I know that you know this because you. You've been doing this more than ten years, and if you do it more than ten years, you're a master, and you qualify to you qualify to have this conversation. And you don't need to impress me with your knowledge, and I don't need to impress with my knowledge because I know that you know. But I, but I, we're talking to people that are on the fence. They're not sure what the heck is going on. Do you get me? They're not sure what's going on with regards to their own lives. Uh, they not sure what the heck, when we talking about okay so so what am I talking about is we all have to come home at some point you know we do all this stuff and I just call it I'm just gonna combine it all into stuff I did stuff for uh, let's see 50 years I did stuff and then something happened something huge happened in my life when I my life was transformed. Uh, and it was transformed by uh, the universe gave me a two by four and said, well, if you don't change, you're done. You're dead. It's a do-over. <laughs> and, and, I and I chose not to continue to run those modules. I basically deinstalled those modules. Okay. Do you, know how I, do you know how I did that? No. How did you do it? I found a new module. Called, called, Real Coaching Radio and TV Network, which is now Conscious Evolution Media. Ten years ago, I found a new module that says, "Oh," and before I even found the new module, I went inside of myself for the first time ever in my life, and was asking questions like, "Well, who the heck am I? Why am I here? What am I supposed to do? What's my passion? What what is it that I want to do that's gonna make my heart sing?" And how am Those I going to grow? Those are the questions it? that everyone needs to be asking themselves. Yes. yes. That's you just said it right there. We could stop because that's the answer. Mm -hmm. Everything else you're saying about having us go back home, modules, downloads. Again, that's those are those are that's basically nomenclature. You're you're using words that we can 
if we didn't have computers that and that wasn't what's in the forefront of most people's minds right now. We could use some other word or some other label. But the right. bottom line is, I mean, you know what, a hundred years, however many years ago, man, know thyself. Mm -hmm. Woman, yep. know thyself. Yeah. I mean, that's what it none is. It comes is, down to that. None of this is new. Yes. None of this right, is Right, exactly. So, well, and, and it's not, uh, whether I'm trying to be new or old, it's, it's, it's truly, it's just coming down to the point where, uh, you know, I believe everything is energy, and as far as this concept around, well, you had a sex module and a gambling module, and then and then you decided the universe hit you over with a two by four, and then then you decided you're going to do conscious evolution media, and but the bottom line is you just redirected your energy in a different way. You didn't get a module downloaded. It's the it was the same energy, the same source, same yeah, you. I'm just using you those. You just as, moved your energy differently. Yes, and I'm I know I'm not those those here. Yeah. I just <laughs> I love the metaphors, but I also want to communicate to others that that if your mind can't get around that there's a module and all that, then don't use that as an analogy or a metaphor. Yeah, sure, sure. Use whatever That's works fine. for you because yeah, ultimately yeah. you want to get those questions answered for questions answered for yourself. But you have to first realize that there's something to know. There's something to know about yourself. So if you're fixed on an idea of it's only this way because I was raised by this religion or I was raised by this dogma, then you're going to have to come away from that. And sometimes it means peeling away or getting those things unstuck from you and so that you can ask the question, who am I? And that takes time, mm -hmm. meaning time away from stuff. So after, let's say you're hearing this now, Take some time and allow this to process within you. Don't go and find the next self-help book or the next this to solve your problem. Yeah, yeah. I stopped. You I have stopped. To take I that stopped. Point. I stopped everything. I stopped. Yeah, right. Like, like dead, dead on. I everything stopped. I I stopped relating to all the friends because I realized that the reason why those friends were there is to is to support me. Um, you know, making sure that the module, my modules worked uh, properly. <laughs> so I, I didn't, I didn't need those friends anymore. So right. I was alone for the first yeah. time in my life, and I was the type of person before that that I couldn't, I couldn't go to bed without another person being next to me. <laughs> and 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 I stopped all that, and I said, you know, I I got to learn how to be with me, and I got to learn how, and I got to learn how to love me. Yes. Not not just ninety percent, not just ninety five percent, but one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Accept me and love me, and, yes. and so that any time, you know, that's why when people ask me, well, how is it possible that a guy goes into a theater and this happened just here in Aurora, and starts shooting and killing all these people? Well, my response to that is, you know, if that person was awake and conscious, it would be impossible. To do. Right. So the answer is that person is ran by his or her ego, and when we don't have control or we don't know how to manage our egos and how to manage all that stuff, anything and everything is possible. So correct. Not even a surprise. It's, not a surprise. it's not a surprise. And think about what we what we have put in our homes every single day. How many televisions? How much input from that? That's all downloads too. Every video game that has violence on it, it's all downloads, TV, oh, all of that. So we, we think it's innocuous, and we think, oh, it's just TV, and it's all... Do you know how much that is going into our subconscious? It's, it's, we really need to understand that that is significant, <laughs> and the amount of trauma that that and causes it's affecting, on a level. It's affecting, oh, huge. It's affecting every moment of our lives. Yes, yes because it is. Because our brain, our brain feeds on it. It's... Yes. it's it's information, and you know, did you hear this before, Stefan? I'm sure you have. That that you know, our brain only um, is aware of 10 percent, or it's only operating at its 10 percent. I, I, right. I say that baloney. Our brain right. is yes, operating at 100 percent. That's just, right, because the 90 percent is not baloney. aware of the 90 percent. That's right. That's exactly and right. 90, That's huge. Where do you think the sun is going? <laughs> and the 90 percent is more important than the 10 percent we're aware of. Yes, thank you. Yes, it's completely true. And this is huge because our brain cannot differentiate between what we see on the screen. And this is important for folks to know that 
we are our, our brains our bodies do not differentiate between the trauma that is going on on the screen or on a video game the cortisol levels go up the adrenaline goes up we've got we've got physical manifestations going on in our body and our brain chemistry shifting as a result of that where our body is getting the trauma from the video screen even though we can try and separate out that oh I'm just watching a movie now you know you cry at movies you get upset at movies right and then you're taking that on because it's triggering so we need to be aware of that and come to a point of that consciousness and gaining the clarity like you were saying clarity about who we are and what we want to put in it feed into our brain program into our computers put on our stage write in our plays who, do, who what do we want to invite as props you know we could give the the stage analogy we could give the computer analogy whatever Yes, and we, are designed. We, have and to Stefano, we are designed to react. That's our design. We were designed to react? To react to everything. Look at people. People are constantly reacting to everything. And if you tell people, just slow down, slow down. You, know, you tell people to meditate, and people are having the hardest time with meditation and, and silence because... There's a lot of confusion around meditation, though. We've got already that programming built in that meditation is the sit on the mountaintop or the cross your legs and do this kind of stuff and and that's not what it is meta if you if we break down the word I mean the bottom line is it's just get quiet shut yes. up I yes. mean you just gotta yes. shut up you gotta shut it off you gotta just yes. be yes. whoa yes. instead of doing 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 and having yes. having having <laughs> be I can be yeah, we need to practice being a little bit more, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And 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 you know, after all these years, I actually got to experience all the stuff that I've been talking about for the last three years, which is how to experience silence. And not only how to experience silence, but not have the conversation going in my head. Yes. Which which with my interaction with you, I want the viewers to get this. I don't have stuff going on in my head. All I'm getting from you, I'm 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 really listening to you, and I, you. and I and I and I. This is like almost like a like a tennis game. I, you know, you're serving me a ball, and you're serving it really fast, and I want to serve it back, and I'm loving it, and I love your passion, and I know that you you love my passion. I'm I'm just going like, oh my god, how can I, I gotta get into this even more, <laughs> <laughs> because it's so good, and it. And it feels so good, and, um, and I don't have the, the conversation. Of it. And I don't have it's the conversations present. going on like like this one. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. What, what does she think about me? And what question should I ask her next? I don't have any of that stuff going on because it just comes right. naturally. And that's being, being mm -hmm. present, being here. Uh, Tolle says, Eckhart Tolle says, be here now. I mean, we again that could go into any of the concepts, but we have to discover it for that ourselves. And again, that's why I. That's why I'm just such an advocate for sovereign, divinely led individuals that don't take it from me, don't take it from a guru, do not go get a guru. Mm -hmm. You become your own guru yeah. and you listen to yourself, but you've got to get quiet first. You've right. got to be first and you've got to be okay with you and not run from it. You're not running. When you start running, you're not running from the true you. You're running from all the noise and all the stuff and all the programs and all the all the stuff that's been downloaded that's not you it's not yes, you yes because you know when when you're clear in the clarity of who you really are you will love yourself you will love yourself more than you've ever <laughs> but then, I mean here's truly. what's funny here's what's funny <laughs> yes I agree with you 100% is that's what we're running from but where we're running to is more of that Correct. So we're, <laughs> you don't need to run to or anything. It's it's right here. You just sit and be. You know, Pema Children says this. She's so wonderful. Pema Children had uh, received in the mail a little dog collar, and on it says "Sit, Stay, Heal," but H E A L. And that is so perfect because if we can't just sit, I mean, even when there's chaos going on, where we just can sit. Wow. Okay. Stay. Just stay with it without having to fight it or run from it or flee or neglect or blah, none of that. Mm -hmm. Then we can heal. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I love that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love Sit, stay, heal. And, and that's <laughs> what this entire network is about, Stefana, is to teach people how to be in the now. 
in the yeah. present moment and how to stay awake and to stay conscious. And it's and it it takes something. It's you know, I mean I still yeah. go in and in and out of it. But right. it's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful journey and um, you know, I'm I get to have experiences like the one I'm having with you right now. That's that's Fun. priceless. That's priceless. Okay? <laughs> and I yes. and I didn't. It's not like you and I talked before to show. We didn't talk, and I don't need to talk to people anymore because because I know I know that who I'm attracting is very much like-minded people and people that that have been doing whatever it is that they're doing as their passion for at least ten years or more. And once that's the case, I trust. I trust the process, and it works. Yes, it's fun. Yeah. Good. So guess guess what? Our half hour, conscious half hour, is way over. <laughs> and I I could be doing this for a lot longer with you, and maybe maybe we get to uh, do this again. And but you were but you were absolutely fantastic. I really um I really enjoy being with you. You too. Uh, you are, you are. Thank you. You're a, a, a tremendous. Um, you are a gem in, <laughs> in the world. Um, and and uh, thank you for doing what you do. Um, you know, obviously, dealing with uh, things like shame, guilt, and fear is um, is it takes something to be able to face it head on. And and I know that. And I know when that. When one you heals, will. we all heal. When we heal, yes. we all heal. So that's why I do it every day, and I wake up knowing that if if I can affect one person, that one person will help all of us just by doing that. So Absolutely. it's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much for being on the network, um, and um, uh, please come back. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay. And uh, for everybody else, thank you for uh, watching the Mind, Body, and Soul TV. It's on same place, same time every week, and we even do it on Friday evenings, especially for people that are um, beyond the United States of America. We have to deal with, uh, you know, things like Australia, where it's the next day. It, it freaks me out. <laughs> it's, <laughs> well, all the, it's all now. I, I, it's, it's all now. It's all now. I'm dealing with people. I'm dealing with people in the future. Uh, they are in tomorrow. Uh, but it's wonderful. So thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you uh, actually tomorrow night. We have a show. I think it's from somewhere in England or something. So we'll see you then. And until next time, thank you very much. We love you all. And uh, uh, come back and uh, engage with Conscious Evolution Media at ConsciousEvolutionMedia.com. And don't forget to keep watching our shows. We have thousands of them uh, on YouTube. And uh, keep watching them. The more you watch them, the more they get. Okay. And when they make the top ten, they get qualified to go to public television, which I can find a better place for this kind of um, dialogue and this kind of education uh, to be on in front of uh, potentially 100 million eyeballs. So thank you, and see you next time.